Now, May the 14th this year, which is on Sunday, was the 20th birthday of Leah Sharibu, one of the students abducted from Government Girls Science and Technical School, Debchi, in Yubi State, who is still in custody of her abductors after six years in captivity. The Leah Foundation says hope is still not lost on her safe return, and they want the president-elect Bola Tinubu to take up the task of seeing to the safe return of Leah and all other Nigerian citizens in captivity of terrorists and armed militia groups. TVC News Plato correspondent Funam Joshua has details. Leah Sharibu has spent her 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th and now 20th birthdays in captivity of ISWAP. Born on the 14th of May 2023, Leah Sharibu alongside other 110 female students of Government Girls Science and Technical School Dabchi in Yobe State were forcefully abducted by suspected ISWAP terrorist group. 104 of the girls were later released after about a month into captivity following a series of interventions put together by the Nigerian government and international organizations. But Leah was denied freedom by her captors for allegedly refusing to convert from her Christian faith to Islam. She was 14 years old at the time of the abduction and six years after at 20 years, she remains in captivity despite several local and international calls as well as efforts to secure her safe return. Gloria Samdi Puldu is the founder of Lea Sharibu Foundation. She has led several campaigns and appeals both within and outside Nigeria to ensure Lea's safe return. This press conference by the foundation, it is way of celebrating Lea's 20th birthday. They are urging the incoming president to take the matter of insecurity with all seriousness, as well as the safe return of Lear and other citizens of Nigeria abducted by enemies of the state. My direct call to the incoming government is, you know the number one issue we have as women is that our girls are being stolen from schools. They are being denied education. And that is a symbol for which Leah represents. And so when we speak about Leah Sharibu, we are talking about her name representing all women who are denied education, especially young girls, all women who are denied their religious freedom, all women and all people who are being stolen away from their families. These are the things that we want you to be the very first number one issue that you will look seriously into. The group believes Leah is still alive and will continue to pray and look forward to her release from captivity and as well as a safe return of others. Funom Joshua, TVC News, Joss.